Hey guys, today I'm finally going to be installing these professional awesome racing air extractors on my vents on the Evo X. I've had them for a couple months now and I've uh, never really got around to getting them done, but today's the day to do it. So let's get to it. Alright, let's get her out of here. It's a little messy. There's a key. My pocket, great. I thought I had the key. Oh no, that's right there. So I kind of prepped earlier and I uh, made this quick template out of cardboard to help me cut on the vent accurately. So you can see that that's the vent right there, or the air extractor, and then that's the template. So basically it gives me clean lines to cut out the hole, and then also gives me kind of a landmark of uh, where I'll be drilling my holes. I'm going to mark those here in just a little bit with a sharpie. I don't want to go too overkill for the rivets, but I want to have enough to make sure that they stay in place. So what I'm going to do is just do three on the ends. Let's see. And then split that more or less halfway. And then again, And then I'll drill it out with the correct size drill bit. So next, I'm just gonna put some masking tape around the area where I'm gonna be cutting. And that's just to help keep everything nice and clean. So I just quickly traced out that template and all, all the little uh, rivet holes uh, that I'm gonna drill out here in a second. Um, so I also talked with uh, Professional Awesome Racing about placement for this fender vent. Um, and they said realistically, um, the best position for uh, it would be right over the wheel, um, but also at the same time, you could put it a little further back or up front. It's just preference. Uh, they said that I think uh, when they were doing testing, aerodynamically, um, it didn't make too much of a difference about extracting the air from the fender well. Before I also cut into this, I also I want to uh, drill out the holes for the rivets. Uh, the reason being um, that once I drill out this piece in the middle, all of this on the side is going to lose its rigid, rigidity and uh, it'll flex a lot more. So it's a lot easier to drill these holes before you actually drill the center out. So I'm going to do that real quickly here. So oh, it's now time to cut out the hole. Um, yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. I mean, I'm fairly confident, confident nothing's gonna go too wrong. I know there's nothing really supporting behind it. Um, so it's just time to cut it out now. Uh, a cool fact, or a cool thing about these uh, vents, air extractors, is that they're actually made of ABS plastic. Uh, so once I go behind to fit them up, I can heat them up with a heat gun and then they can kind of form to the contours of the fender a lot better. So let's get to it.
isn't too bad. Working. My OB works really well. So I'm just going to do a quick test fit now, and then after that I'll uh, probably have to heat it up with a heat gun just to get it to mold a little bit better to it. But, I mean, yeah, initial fitment is actually not too bad whatsoever. Once I get some heat on it, it'll mold right up to it perfectly. I like. So I spent a couple minutes with the heat gun against the uh, vent over here and it was uh, pretty tough. It took a lot of heat to get it to mold right, but I think I finally got it to a point where uh, I can accept it. Uh, so I'm just going to drill out all the rest of the rivet holes on the plastic over here. I'll peel off the masking tape over there and then I also uh, bought some uh, door edge uh, trim guard or door edge guard that I'm going to put over the edge over here so that it cleans it up a little bit and it seals it up a little bit nicer. So. Yeah, let's do it. So it looks pretty good already. I mean, it's being held in place by the door edge guard, um, or the guard, you know, the trim piece that I basically use. So now I'm just gonna use these uh, white rivets that I get from Home Depot. So it cleans it up a little bit and get everything all riveted up here. So here's the finished product. I'm actually really happy with how it came out. All those white rivets make it look a little bit nicer and sleeker. You can kind of see in there. Nice functional mod. Looks pretty good too. I mean right perfectly with that body line or that fender line well i guess yeah that is the body line of the car right there going up top so now just to get the other side done so i was going to try and record the install of the driver's side but i decided against it just so that i could uh get a little uh get done a little bit quicker and uh, get home because i have to go to work because uh i need money for race car parts um but yeah install overall i'd say it's probably like a five out of ten i mean as long as you're comfortable with some diy and you have the necessary tools so an angle grinder uh what else did i use a rivet gun you know drill and drill bit it's actually fairly easy um other than that i mean i'm gonna post the link down below for professional awesome racing their website um so if you're interested in buying uh these air extractors you can and they have a bunch of other diy stuff um, and that's about it for today. Uh, please like and comment down below uh, and don't forget to uh, subscribe. Um, I mean, I'm going to be putting out more uh, Evo X racing content here. I'll be going to the track uh, soon, so I'll be posting uh, that as well. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I appreciate all of your input uh, and questions and everything like that. And uh, yeah, that's it for today. Take care. Until next time.